Thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of Tower Online News, brought to you by BBN. I'm Cal Kemp. We sat down with junior receiver Robbie Seaman to talk about this football season as well as his expectations for next season. Thank you, Cal. I'm here with junior receiver Robert Seaman. Robbie, what were your expectations coming into this season? Um, well, always my expectation is to win the pack, win pack championship, obviously, but. Obviously, my expectations were to do better than last year as a team, as a whole. You gained your starting spot in the Carnegie Mellon game over fall break. Did you think you'd have such a big impact on the team when you first gained that spot? I didn't know exactly, but I was obviously hoping to have a big impact. Anything I could do, when I was given an opportunity, I made the best of it. So. With Eric Flynn gone next season, what do you expect for next season for yourself as well as the rest of the wide receivers? Obviously, Eric Glenn's a big loss to our team. Next year, we're going to have to spread the ball. We're going to have to just see what we can do. Expect. How is the team rather looking at these next two games? Honestly, uh, it took too long for our team to become like an actual team together. But obviously, last game, we scored in every phase. We scored on special teams. We scored on offense. We scored on defense. So that was awesome. With so, family weekend approaching, we talked to Director of Student Activities, Sam Gooch, about this weekend's festivities. Thank you, Caleb. I'm here with Directors of Student Activities, Sam Gooch. For those who may not know, what exactly is Family Weekend? Family Weekend is a chance for students at Bethany College to have their families visit, a time that we'll have events planned and an opportunity to come back and see their student. And Friday night um, at 5 o'clock will be Oktoberfest. Um, it's a yearly event that Residence Life puts on. After that will be Larry Grimes, who will be telling his Bethany College ghost stories. And on Saturday will be a whole bunch of, the, of athletic events. The football team will be playing. Both soccer teams will be playing. Swimming will be having a match. Saturday night is actually a ghost hunter on campus. So we'll actually be visiting Commencement Hall, um, Old Main, and then we might even take a trip down to the old graveyard. I'd say the biggest thing that goes into it, or the most um, different thing that goes into it than planning like a concert or something is advertising outside of Bethany. What event are you most excited about? Um, I'd have to say the Ghost Hunter. I mean, with Bethany College being so old and so historic. The new president in January, we wanted to know what aspects of Bethany students would change first. We interviewed four students and asked them if they could change three things about Bethany. What would they change? I would change the quality of food. I think a lot of times we just kind of like walk into the calf and I kind of wonder if the meat's going to jump off my plate or not. I'd like to see us recruit more academic students. Like it's okay that we recruit all these athletes, but I think we should recruit the same amount of academic stuff kids than we do athletes. I wish that we could fix the buildings faster. Number one would be the open enrollment because I feel like sometimes they just let anyone and everyone in here and I don't think that's very good. Um, number two would be Greek life being more of a big community instead of house against house like how it is sometimes. And then number three would be building structure because sometimes I feel like I'm going to fall through the floor. I would change the food because I hate eating fried food. I hate appetizer bar. It's just terrible. I wish they would salt the sidewalks during winter because I got a concussion last year walking down CV Hill. That room would have to be, I wish I had a dishwasher in CV because I, I don't like doing dishes by hand. First off, I would change the parking situations because they're is nowhere for students to park on campus except nine spots. I would change the lighting because when I'm walking back from work, at, like after a midnight shift at the library, there are no lights and I have to use my cell phone like to even see and I don't feel safe on campus at night. And also the food because no one likes it. That's all she wrote this week. Thank you for watching Tower Online News brought to you by Tower Digital Productions and BBN. Stay spooky, Bethany.